beautiful big tone and a big voice, as we often say, from a small, neat, compact instrument. <clears throat> Some makers were able to achieve that. Today's piano makers would love to be able to achieve that, but uh, they're fighting uphill because they don't have the spruce required for the soundboard. But makers like this, famous Gores and Kelman, R. Gores and Kelman, uh, built in Berlin, which was a great piano making centre, as we've spoken about before. Uh, they had the secret, like Therma, um, August Forster, a few other makers, of making a small compact instrument with all the beauty and tone of a much bigger instrument. So Gors and Kelman, this is an under damper concert pitch piano, uh, beautifully uh, maintained in one family. I've looked after it for a, for a long time, but I have just in recent times completely refelt the action in this piano. Uh, all the hammers and bearings and everything have been attended to, and it holds concert pitch beautifully. Uh, lovely neat keyboard. Everything about it works, and a, a nice instrument to carry a person uh, right through to sixth grade quite comfortably. And then what does a family do? Well, you can keep the piano and go through sixth grade and beyond on an instrument like this. But really, by then, you are looking at the bigger, more expressive instruments such as Lip and Ronish. But as a marvellous instrument to take a young person uh, through those early grades and right off knocking on the door of university. Something like a Gors and Kelman or Therma, uh, one of these beautiful all-round pianos. Don't take up a lot of room. They're lovely to look at, beautiful to play. So I'm very happy to have this lovely little um, Gors and Kelman now for anyone who's interested in uh, an instrument of that quality.